More tea? Oh, yes, thank you, darling. It's in the pot. Mom, happy birthday! Oh, thank you, darling. Desmond Lowe. It's nice. Who is it supposed to be? Oh, it's Willie Mandela. Oh, yes, yes. I can see that now. Happy birthday, Mrs. Ambrose. Oh, Louise, thank you. They're lovely. Aren't they lovely, Desmond? Yes, yes. Happy birthday, Mum. Sorry, I couldn't afford a present. Oh, never mind. Well, thank you anyway. Glad this only happens once a year. Some mothers are bad. Some aren't so good. But my mum's wicked in this neighborhood. <laughs> because dad's so stingy with his pocket money, giving you this card makes me feel funny. I want to say face even though times are hard. I didn't buy you a present, I bought you a card. Stingy? When I was your age, I didn't even get pocket money. So what's changed? You cheeky little... Oh, this is nice, isn't it, Desmond? My family bought me cards and presents. Even Louise bothered. What did you get, Mum, for her birthday, Dad? Answer your son, Desmond. Who, me? Yes, yes you. Well, it's uh, private. What's so private about you forgetting? I didn't forget, it's just that... You didn't remember? Well, I remembered last night. What about last night? I remembered to wrap your present last night. Uh, uh, there it is. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, you old dog. <laughs> Happy birthday, Shirley. Happy return, Shirley. Please. There you go, Shell, just for you. Oh. oh, thank you, Lee. It's a tester. <laughs> oh, it's not just a tester, Shell. It's the tester of the most expensive perfume in the world. It's not stolen, is it? Oh, Shell, would I give you Ben Gear for your birthday? Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lee. Oh. Many happy returns of the day, Shirley. Oh, for oh, yeah. me, Matthew. Mm -hmm. What is that? <laughs> this is very nice, Matthew. Is it African? This is a mark of great respect, and it's only given to the oldest tribeswoman of the village. Matthew, <laughs> who wants to be the oldest tribeswoman of Peckham High Road? Where's Uncle Papa? Why aren't he here yet? Well, he announced so, last night that he wouldn't be coming. Yeah, and he was a right funny mood as well. Dad, do you know what's wrong with Uncle Pope Pie? Oh, I don't know. Some people don't like birthdays. Brings back too many memories. He hasn't been the same since his wife left. Well, she left him. Well, it's a long story, and... And we don't want to hear about it now. <laughs> because I've brought together... In honour of Shirley Ambrose... With great difficulty, the Peckham Posse. Yes, that famous ensemble, the Pea Posse, will sing in the key of off. My latest composition, Opus 173, going that much of my book. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to What you doing? I'm watching the news. <laughs> but you need to hear the news. So why do I need to hear bad news as well as see it? What's the big secret? Nothing. Nothing? Yeah, so why are you all whispering? We weren't whispering, we were just... We were just debating. Yeah, yeah debating. debating. Yeah? Usually when you lot debate, I can hear you halfway down the road. So why are you so secretive? It's a secret debate. Yeah. <laughs> well, instead of having a secret debate, why don't you go and finish your homework? Because he hasn't even started it yet. Neither have they, though. Do you mean to tell me you haven't done any work yet? Go and make a start now. Why couldn't you keep your big mouth shut? Mum, if I tell you what the secret is, can we do it after supper? No, now. Oh, go on. <laughs> You're like it. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> What's the secret? A secret, eh? Looks like I've come at the right time. Michael, why don't you knock before barging in? Gloria. Uh, Gloria, what you fail to remember is that not only am I now a partner in the business downstairs, I happen to also be your older brother. So treat me with some respect. You're a big girl now, and I'm a grown-up. Anyway. <laughs> Happy birthday, mother. Oh, Michael, the lovely, beautiful. Have you eaten? No, it's OK. I'm having supper with some friends of mine. I'm having supper with some friends of mine. <laughs> it's good to hear you still got some. It's OK. I've just come up for the accounts book. I've got some soup. You want me to warm it up for you? No, it's all right, mother. What about some fried fish? I've got fried fish. <laughs> no, it's all right, mother. Look, Thank do you. Do you want to hear the secret or not? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. OK, what is it? At the first stroke, it will be 6.15 precisely. <laughs> <laughs> look, that is not a toy, father. That's dread. Let's have a look. What do you want a thing like this for, Michael? Tools, mother. Tools of the trade. The money market never closes. It's a poser phone, Mum. It's how buppies talk to each other. <laughs> you remember when we were young, Shirley? We used to tie a piece of string between two tin cans. <laughs> <laughs> That's their version of that. Yes, but I can ring anywhere in the world on this. You can? Maybe I can ring your auntie, so so. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm going to ring Jamaica. Ah, right? just make me give one car. No, you can not afford to make a call on one of these things. Why well, have one then? So you can tell everybody it cost a fortune. <laughs> so what are we going to do about Mr. Pork Pie's party then? What? Pork Pie having a party? How come I haven't been invited? They'll never take you in MI5, will they? <laughs> We're holding a party for him next Friday. I saw him in the post office this morning and he looked really sad. Uh, mm. So we thought we'd sweeten him up a bit, you know, mass it up for him. Mm, I'm sure you mean well. Yeah, I've made a list of the things that we're going to need. Drinks, entertainment, decorations, hats, party poppers, food and money. <laughs> well, you don't have to go mad. <laughs> Just make some rum punch and play some music. Folk <laughs> probably wouldn't want anything fancy. Just give him a drink and anyway is a party. You want to make it something special. Yeah, a party to remember. He drink the rum, he wouldn't remember a thing. <laughs> No, Dad, we don't want any of that old man drunk and styly. We want something crisp. Yeah, but how are we going to afford it? I know how. You do? It can be part of our business expansion plan. Business what? <laughs> we are for the shop. Look, we can give Uncle Pork Pie a good time and impress some clients. I feel an entrepreneurial opportunity coming. Ooh, can we have that in English? Look, let's for argument's sake call Uncle Pork Pie our oldest customer. But I can think of an argument against that. You can. Well, he's not a customer. He never has his hair cut. All right, then, we offer him a free haircut. Make a big fuss of it and get a photo in a local paper. Agreed? Well, I'll pay for it. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> well, say he doesn't want to come. I'll just tell him it's some home cooking and a game of dominoes. He's bound to come. Uh, could you pass me the tin cans and piece of string, please? Uh -huh. <laughs> Who you call him? A catering firm I know called Smarty Parties. <laughs> Is everything ready? Yes. <laughs> you know, Michael, it's amazing the things you can do with a few flowers. Anyway, I think I've successfully managed to transform this seedy little place into something, well, a little bit more respectable. Yes. Done a wonderful job, St. Clair. Oh, thank you. I only wish it was permanent. Michael, love it. Look, if you ever need a completely new concept for the shop, Smarty Parties also do interior design. Alas, I'm still trying to persuade my father to move me to the 70s, let alone the 90s. Mm. Look, is everything OK? Yes. <laughs> Good, go for it. Shoo, 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 don't touch it. Shoo, shoo, shoo. What is this, eh? A party or a wedding? Since when has pork pie been into flowers? <laughs> Lee, these flowers cost me a lot of money. Yeah, well, it serves you right. You should have come to me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you sure you know what you're doing, anyway? Oh, yeah, me and SLR. What, we're like that. <laughs> SLR, so what's that? SLR, that's... That um... single lens reflex. Oh, thank you, David Bailey. <laughs> it's good, eh? My own recipe. Rum punch. Rum punch? <laughs> This punching got any punch?
knock out. Matthew, do you have parties like this in Africa? Yes, for funerals. But not surprise party. Well, the last one I went to was for my cousin. One of his wives had hit him over the head with a saucepan. He was surprised to be dead. <laughs> That's good, Sinclair. Right, Sean, you got the blindfold. Yes. You know what to do. Yes. Listen, everybody, listen. Pork pie's coming in in a minute, right? Sean's gonna bring him in blindfolded, so... I wish you'd hurry up, Mom. I'm starving, man. What's the matter? I'm already before that. Don't touch anything. Positions, everyone. Positions. Let's go for it. Uh, hang on, pork pie. We're not quite ready upstairs yet. Wait there and I'll come and get you in a minute, okay? Sean, what's going on? All will be revealed, pork pie. Ah, ah. You promise not to look? All right, hurry up. I don't know what to say, really and truly. Say something truly and really. <laughs> well, if you want to know the truth, I could tell you. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. yes. 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 Look around you. What do you see? Friends. 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 A lot of wasted money. <laughs> the money spent on all this could have been spent on something better. Pork pie! Charlie, he's better left alone. Well, that's what I like about pork pie, eh? He certainly knows how to enjoy himself, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Just about yesterday. You come alone? <laughs> yeah, why? Anybody follow you? No. Yes, well, music and television is the only thing we have to occupy me now. Oh, yeah, you used to be in Dad's band, didn't you? That's right. He never talks to us about that band. What happened to him? We got old. <laughs> Who are they? My daughters. They're very nice. Are they? <laughs> Look, I come to apologize for yesterday. Must have been very embarrassing for you. You didn't embarrass me. You know what really got me was the waste of it all. I suppose you think I'm ungrateful. No. I suppose they want an apology. You don't have to apologize. I wasn't going to. <laughs> nice view. Get away from the window. Who's <laughs> gonna see us on the seventh floor? Them TV detector van can see through everything. Them know what station you're watching. Them even know when you turn off Jim Davidson. Oh, you don't have to be afraid of TV detector vans. They're only after people that have... You haven't got a television license, have you? No. And I can't afford one either. £62.50. That's not a lot of money, is it? But from where me sit now, that is a lot of money. It's a lot more than my pension. It's funny. <laughs> I work hard all my life, and what me have to show for it? A flat on the seventh floor on the worst estate in Peckham. <laughs> and one stereo, a TV I can't use, a gold watch that I pawn, and a selection of pork pie hats. <laughs> Why don't they give you something useful when you retire, eh? Like money. 
Everybody gets a gold watch. You know what I think? I think they give you a gold watch so you remember how precious little time you have before you kick the bucket. <laughs> ah, but it's true. So, there lies the future of Mr. Augustus Neapolitan Cleveland Grant. <laughs> he has to sit here watchless, boxless, and dropless. <laughs> What's so funny? Your name? Augustus Neapolitan Cleveland Grant. <laughs> <laughs> Augustus <laughs> Neapolitan. <laughs> Neapolitan. <laughs> How is he? Oh, he's all right. How much pocket money do you get? Not as much as you. Well, how much do you get? Not a lot. It's just that Port Pine needs £62.50 for a TV licence. Well, with my not a lot and your not a lot, we don't got a lot. <laughs> Although Dad just gave me a pay increase. How much? 50p. That's not a oh, lot. Man. Wait a minute. What? Don't worry, sis. I saw the app for you. Man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> and then put 5k to Coco. Right. Okay. Uh, come in. Yes, Mandy, what can I do for you? Uh, there's somebody to see you, sir. Ah, show them in. You can come in now, Mr. Ambrose. <laughs> uh, do take a seat. Oh, saved you. <laughs> uh, that'll be all, Mandy. Thank you. What do you want? <laughs> Has come to check out the scene. <laughs> yes, nice. Thank you. It's not bad. The manager's office is better, though. <laughs> you know, I can just see you in there with your name on that door. M M M M. Michael, the manager. <laughs> <laughs> I bet the manager earns a good wage. Uh, yes, he does. This is not a bad career to be in, Sean. You should think about it. Hmm. How much do uh, assistants earn? Enough? <laughs> well, in that case, you don't mind if I ask M.M. for a loan? <laughs> you can try. All right. Can I have a loan? <laughs> oh, and would that be a personal loan, Mr. Ambrose? Yeah, a very personal one, from you to me. <laughs> oh, yes? For a good cause. Oh, really? And who's that? You? No, not me. <laughs> OK, Sean. How much? Uh, 40 pounds. How what? <laughs> he needed to pay his TV license. After all the money I paid out for him and he walked out. <coughs> now he wants me to give him 40 pounds for a TV license. No way. No, he doesn't know about this. Gloria Louise and me are doing it for a surprise. No. Not after the way he treated me in front of all those people. And he hasn't even had the decency to apologize. Well, he didn't ask you to spend all the money on the party. That was your idea. No. What he would have really liked was a TV license. No. Oh, we only need another 40 pounds. Probably the same as a weekly rent of charging that phone of yours. So? Okay. What about making an investment? Ah, what in? Me. <laughs> yeah. I had some business to take care of, man. Well, I've got my 13 pounds. I've got my 10. I've got my five. Plus my 10% increase, making the grand total of five pounds 50. 28 pounds 50, that's not going to get very far, is it? Well, it'll buy three months for you in time. Yeah, I suppose the fault that counts. Yeah. Well, try counting this. Where'd you get that from? Michael. Michael? Michael? Yeah, man, me and bro are like this, you know what I mean? <laughs> how did you get that out of him? The trouble is, you guys don't know how to talk to him. See, there's a certain language between a man and his bank manager, you know what I mean? Oh, what man. did you say? I said I'll wash his car the next six months. <laughs> <laughs> kiss for that. Yeah, keep those lips to yourself. Now, if Louise were to give me a kiss... Oh. You know how we is. We'll feel better when that silly old fool Pope come out of hiding. Name that tune. 
Basil. What kind of tune is that? That is music from Senegal. Well, you could send it back. I'm not in the mood. I went to see him last night, no answer. What do you think we should do? I think we should wait till he come back. He's gone round there. Good afternoon, all. How goes it? Yes, well, what's happened? Who's died? Nobody's seen pork pie since the party. Ah, that's very interesting. I gave Sean 40 pounds to go around there to help pay for his TV license. Did you? I hope he's all right. Sean's well off with the money. Michael, how you could say a thing like that about your brother? Hmm? If Sean say he wanted the money for pork pie license, then that's what he's done. Yeah, you tell him, Mum. Anyway, you didn't give me the money. I've still got to clean your car for the next six months, remember? <laughs> Michael, how could you? Quite easily, Mum. He's a capitalist. And the face of capitalism has no heart. Oh, I suppose it's all right to be a capitalist when you need money. That's the only good reason to have a capitalist in the house. You have the money, we spend it. Stop arguing. Louise, you seen poor quite today? No. Anyway, what have you done with the money? Spent it. On what? Look, we put it in an envelope and popped it through Mr. Pork Pie's letterbox. I don't really know how to say this because I don't like charity. But I want to thank you all for helping me. It makes me realize that sometimes you can't fight alone and you have to ask for help. So uh, I want to thank you for your help and your friendship. I, I know it's a bit late, but I'd like to give this to you, Shirley, and say happy birthday. Oh, thank you, Pork Pie. <laughs> They're very nice. Oh, but these must have cost the earth. I can't accept them. I didn't pay that much for them. I got them from me. <laughs> oh, really? Well, if you don't mind me asking Pork Pie, how much you pay for them? You can't ask a man a thing like that. How much? Excellent value, sure. Roll gold a pan a pair. <laughs> well, it's the tart that comes eh, pork pie. Yes, it's a nice present, pork pie. Mm. No matter how much they cost. <laughs> but for you, cheapskate, it's the cost that counts. <laughs>